Next up, we're going to talk about ShopRite. It's the largest retailer in Sub-Saharan Sub Africa by sales, focusing on discount sales of everyday items. It's led by CEO Whitey Basson. It has a market cap of 83.2 billion rand, a P ratio of 18.8, .8, and a dividend yield of 2.7%. I've never seen ShopRite this cheap. You know, in my yeah. history of following the markets, it's certainly had a tough time. It's targeting, you know, the lower end consumer in South Africa, which is under a lot of pressure due to inflationary concerns. Um, a lot of the sectors or the countries that operate in throughout Africa are very commodities dependent. So it's yeah. a bit of a double edged sword there. Yes. Is this a good buying opportunity? Time to get into ShopRite? Barn, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about ShopRite, particularly in the wake of what that trading update we saw a few weeks ago. It really wasn't very good. It was very, very pedestrian. And as you rightly say, in the rest of Africa, if you go back a few years, because of their first mover advantage and the rest of Africa was really pumping, uh, it, was, it was wonderful. Even in these results, if you look at constant, on a constant currency basis, because many of those African currencies, ironically, have actually outperformed the RAND, it still results in, 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 in the proportion of earnings coming from Africa looking an awful lot better than the, the local side of things. But again, you're right, the, the lower end of the market here taking a lot of pain, and that's not going to relent, unfortunately. Uh, add into the mix the fact that I, I'm a little bit concerned that we don't have any real succession planning after Whitey Vasson. Whitey is, is one of a kind. They broke the mold with this guy. He mm. really is a phenomenal, phenomenal operator. Late 60s now, he must be looking to take a back seat at some point in time. And I'm not as yet uh, aware of who the natural successor would be. Mm. Well, let's have a look at that share price uh, and, and talk about that possible opportunity. I mean, since uh, late 2013, we can see the, you know, if you've been investing and got in around that time, you've had terrible returns. Yeah. Just talking about that succession story, we do know that it sort of falls under that Christo Visa umbrella. You know, there have been rumors around that possibly a Steinhoff takeover at some point. Um, so that could be a potential kicker for the share price. Yeah, could well be. And uh, again, I think you put your finger on it, Byron. I think it's going to take uh, an extraneous factor here to make this thing really move uh, and start getting back to the kind of levels it was two, three, four years ago. But as things currently stand, you know, it's taking a lot of pressure, believe it or not, from pick and pay. It's actually losing market share to pick and pay. And that's almost unheard of in the past five to 10 years. So again, it's telling you that maybe the model's getting a little bit tired at, 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 the, um, at the edges. Mm, okay, hot or not on ShopRite? No, unfortunately not so hot these days. <laughs> I like it, I love it, it's a great operation, but not as hot as I was, no. Mm. I, I'm gonna disagree with you on that one. I think it's a good buying opportunity. I think the Africa story will turn. You know, it was the flavor yep. of the month yep. a few years back, now it's not. Um, I do think the demographics are certainly there and it will turn and they'll be the ones to benefit from that.